alright, I lead with that Mega, and he leads with that Ambipom, and I'm like, okay, um, it's probably a fake out Ambipom, I'll just stay in, can't do too much to me. I flinch, speed boost, and, um, I'm pretty much set to take this thing down, unless he has Fire Punch, of course, which he does have, but I Bug Buzz, and that takes him down a long way, and, um, that's pretty sweet. He Fire Punches. I'm like, oh well. Um, he'll probably be loafing around this turn, so I'll bug buzz. I thought he'd predict I'd sub, but it doesn't matter. I get the bug buzz in on that thing. Doesn't do too much, but it did again more than I expected because I didn't even have the Yachi, not the Yachi Berry, the Tai Berry boost. So now I have that boost. Gyro balls, sub takes damage. I just want to get as much damage as possible on the on this guy here, so yeah, since Bronzongs are so beastly and so hard to take down, and I one hit it, and I'm like, wow, crit. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Sean. Didn't mean to get a crappy crit on you, but he goes out to that the guy and sucker punches, and I didn't see that coming, so he got me there. I go to my Metagross, and um, he loafs around. I knew he would, so I can just get the EQ, and he stays alive, because that thing's a physical wall, I believe. But whatever. Bullet punch for the win. And that kills the slacking. Even criticals. Probably didn't need it. Maybe I needed it. I'm not sure. So I expect the fake out. Go out to Grim here. He shadow claws. Didn't expect that actually. But I knew I'd live at. So fire punch. Just to see how much that would do. And that doesn't do <laughs> too much. So I'm like okay whatever. Get out of here. Go back into Metagross. Because it doesn't really have that much it could do to Metagross. Shadow Claw certainly won't do that much. Now Bullet Punch. And then he U-turns out, but that just kills himself with the Life Orb anyway, so... Ambipom's down the tubes, and Togekiss is coming in, and I'm like, oh, probably has Flamethrower, go to Frogger, take the Flamethrower. Works perfect. And, uh, yeah, Beast. Special Beast right there. Um... So he withdraws and goes to Float Soul. I Ice Beam. Didn't know what to do out. I might have surfed, but I decided to Ice Beam instead. Just uh, be sure. And I get a critical. That's three for me, and that's pretty lucky on my part, because I never get crits, and it's always against me, usually. Well, actually, no. Not, well, usually, the battles that I don't post, but whatever. I go to Zapdos. He use that. And I Heat Wave. The Crunch doesn't do too much. Heat wave doesn't kill him because I expected a switch big time and he didn't do it. So I'm like, wow, you're pretty sweet. And um, use waterfall. And uh, at that point, I still thought he had ice beam, but obviously he doesn't have frickin' ice beam. So the roost, uh, I don't know what I did it for. It really did crap, but whatever. I can just get another heat wave in there to finish it because it looks like he's just leaving it out for death fodder. So. Down goes that deal, and uh, oh, sorry about that. Um, so now his Togekiss comes back in, and he air slashes. I'm like, hmm. I thought that thing might have known something else that would, you know, took me a little bit better. Probably wanted flinch hacks anyway, but oh well. Thunderbolt rapes the Togekiss. Like I don't know how it took it down so nicely, but it did. So that's pretty nice. Then he goes with the scissor, out of options now, because Heat Wave will just KO him in the end here, so. Um, good game, Sean. We didn't really get to see a lot of my dudes. Um, we might have to rematch, just in case um, the hacks totally screwed you over. So, um, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and peace.